lots of us thought maybe one day we would play professional football. Few of us, however, wrote it down as one of our top five goals of all time. Is it true that as a grade schooler, Jack Conklin wrote down, one day I will play professional football? Yep, uh, I remember making the goal in, in first grade. It was, I think it was, uh, I think it was actually in Sunday school. No kidding. Yep, yep, wrote it down, and that was. Uh, what were your other goals? <laughs> I, think, I, I think one, the other one I can vividly remember was having a Viper sports car. And? No, I don't even think I'd fit in one now, but <laughs> at least we got one out of two there. So. <laughs> well, hey, you're a Michigan kid. You got to get some. You got to get some muscle. There. Yeah. That's a. Uh, why did you know, or why did you think that that would be something you definitely wanted to do? I think it was just my parents, you know, they always talked about how they were both, you know, athletic people and they always talked about how big I was probably going to be and my dad and my grandparents always loved football and growing up and it just sort of seemed like that was going to be the sport I could play and I always wanted to be a professional athlete and to me football was the epitome of what I could do. Now your dad was your high school coach. Mm -hmm. How is your football relationship with your dad now, meaning how do you guys talk about the game being that he was your coach and now you're a professional player. We don't talk about it as much anymore. You know, there was a point in time in college, I remember him talking to me, he's like, at this point you know more about football than I do and I think uh, our relationship should just be about father and son and less about football. It's been nice, you know, every day you're getting questions about football and to have your dad who you've grown up being that guy, you talk so much about football, sort of had the relationship change to just more of a personal one. We've had a chance to see your, your daughter Riley and it looks like she's gonna be an athlete. So yeah, she's pretty darn big already. Well, so, she's yeah. got she's got some size, no question. But she, when she's on the practice field, running around with you, she can really move around. How are you going to be about athletics? Are you going to let her go to Michigan? She can go wherever she wants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Me and my wife we talked about it a lot. Just sort of, uh, my wife played soccer at Michigan State, so right. she's an athlete as well. Let's just sort of let her put her in as much things as we can, and just sort of let her take off and whatever she does. And if she's an athlete, then that's going to be great. And if she's not, then we'll be full behind her and whatever it is. I think both of us growing up as athletes, you know, you see the pressure of a lot of times different parents who push their kids too much and the kids end up getting burnt out and stuff. So I think the biggest thing for us is just going forward is getting her in as much stuff and letting her experience as many different sports and things as possible and letting her run with it. A couple of years uh, when she has a chance to write down her five goals, will you read it and say, hmm, yeah, this could work out? Work, yeah, look at this. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing my parents did. You know, they, they always said, hey, if you work hard and you do it, you're, you put your mind to it, you can do it. I think just having that positivity in her and, and you know, let her dream as big as she wants. You know, if, if, if you dream to the stars, you know, if you reach the moon, that's, that's, that's a great spot to be. What you did last year for the Glencliff football team, Glencliff High School, got them jerseys, um, so special and and looked like it was even more special for you than it was for the boys uh, it was pretty awesome you know i was able to uh with nike's help uh, be able to donate some jerseys to the team and uh you know it was crazy going in there and, and meeting the team and the coaches just to see how little they had you know to be able to come in there and make an impact just with a small thing like jerseys i remember as a kid <laughs> i would have been feeling awesome to get brand new jerseys and all that stuff and it was just it was so much fun to see the look on the kids' faces, just to have the, the, the new jerseys and to have me there and be a part of things. It was, it was just an awesome feeling. A little thing in your life now, but a big thing in their life at that moment, and it will be forever. Yeah, you know, it's, it's humbling. I think that's one of the biggest things. You have to, once you get to the professional level, I try to think back to when I was in high school. If I would have saw a professional athlete, I would have, my mind would have been blown. I think as a professional athlete, you have to sort of humble yourself by doing, you know, talking to kids and doing stuff and just remember realizing what it was like for you back in that day and how a few words to a, a kid here and there can go so far.